Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Riverside Stadium. I'm Eric Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Middlesbrough up against Fulham. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Thank you for attending today's game at the Riverside Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. And they need to get tighter here. And how about that for a save? Now sending it in. Well, there's no way to escape the verdict that that was an awful corner. Harrison Reed. Tom Kearney. Effective challenge. Johnny Housen. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Anthony Dykesdale. Accurate pass. Well, it could be on for him here. He needed to get there and did. Can they put it away? And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Harrison Reed. Reed now. Kebano has it. Mitrovic. Otako completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
you might say, taking everyone by surprise. He didn't miss by much. Well, this is all about his technique. The ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal. That's a really good effort. Marcus Tarania trying to strongly to win the ball. Defensive efficiency personified. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Mitrovic. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now can they counter clinically? Tremendous ball played through. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Not much time to make up his mind. Harrison Reed. Mitrovic. Moving forward effectively. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Must be brilliantly blocked and diving to thwart him. Keen to take it short here. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Delivering it. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Robinson. Can he play it in? goalkeeping well that was a great save but the way they're playing at the moment the equaliser can't be far away now well a good tackle now let's see what we can do here Mitrovic this could square the game well the keeper is happy the bar was there well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. A meaty but fair challenge. And it will be a throw-in. Marcus Tavernier. Taylor. Housen here. Taylor. Chance. Oh, should have done so much better from there. Showing a real desire to win it back. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? But it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. And the game begins. And they need to get tighter here. And how about that for a save? needed to get there and did can they put it away and he gobbles up the second chance disappointment for the keeper no wonder he's asking questions of his defense Mitrovic
And the ball moving again. It's Borough in front, but they can't take anything for granted. Connolly. Oh, that's a really good run. And Borough unable to keep the ball. Mitrovic. And on the ball, Kearney. Mitrovic tries to lift it and the keeper more than alive to it well he's tried to be clever but he just didn't get enough on it that's a comfortable save well they must exercise caution standing off as they are he's found a pocket of space Kearney defended well oh beating his opponent with ease well able to close down the short and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here here it is now a substitution options in the centre Superb save. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Can they square the game? Well, it was a superb counter attack, but no goal. Yeah, really good play. Won the ball back well and then countered with great speed. That deserved a goal. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. To be replaced by number 48. Possession lost. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the white. Has a go! And a goal it is! They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely imperfect. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. And a substitution in the offing. So 2-0 now. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Neko Williams. To be replaced by number two, Kenny Tinto. Harry Wilson. Nathaniel Chalaba here. Well, racing past his man. Well, defending always has to be a teat. Chances on. Keeper getting the touch. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't split it into a dangerous area like that. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Absolutely spot on, and they keep the ball. Jones has it. And unable to keep possession. Good-looking sequence. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. But he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. 
Well, just a rebuke rather than a caution, Stuart. Well, it's not a bad tackle, and the referee's got that right. And time for the change now. But the goalkeeper did his job. Just ten minutes remaining here. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. And crossed in there. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? It's a short one. Tete. Oh, terrific save. Well, that's surely it. That was possibly their last chance. What a great save that was. Playing it in. Foiling them effectively. The delivery. And a no-nonsense clearance. Superb block. Oh, late drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Brian, can they grab the lead late on? I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Now the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. It comes to nothing in the end. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Body in the way. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone. Neither side holds the advantage.